Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again, and today we have so many leaks. Actually, not leaks because these are this is official news. Actually, we have all of this guaranteed. We had messages in the game, but also we know what we're gonna have. We have the announcement of a new mini box that was definitely not expected. So we got a new mini, a Pika box and a bundle all of this we're gonna see all of this we're gonna go all of this together to see if it is any good but i'm just gonna spoil it to you that i'm super hyped super excited also last new before jumping right into it guys uh from today the ban list is applied so goodbye to agents a lot of different stuff uh banned and limited so now the ladder is uh, a much more peaceful place to live in. So, uh, before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So, I'm um, here with the Duel Links meta site. As you can see, we got Destroyer of the Phantasm. So, very nice artwork, love it, honestly of these box and we got tons of stuff here let's go through all of this so let me just let me just start from this i love this reprint it's a reprint a lot of people asked for a lot of free to play players asked for because ancient gear wyvern was a um a structure deck exclusive and now instead has been reprinted it's gonna be reprinted from tomorrow in these mini box so so happy guys you're finally you're finally done it you can have you can put your ends on the wyvern now let's start from the ur so it's a mini of course triple ur and how many six nine ten srs let's start from the first one ravia lord of the phantasms shimmering scraper so cannot be normal summon set, must be special summoned from your hand by treating three monsters. So first thing, uh, first consideration to make, must be special summon. So this means you can perform your normal summon to um, reach the three monsters requirement that you need and then special summon this guy, just like Plasma works. So very nice actually. Let's see what this guy does. It's a 4K 4K, so an absolute beast. Uh, you can only use each of the following effects of Wave your Lord of Phantasm Machining Scraper once per turn. Quick effect. You can discard this card and target one Reveal Lord of Phantasm you control for the rest of this turn. Its attack becomes double its current attack. Also, it can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. <laughs> That's broken. It's like an entrap or what? <laughs> Um, if this card is in your hand, keep in mind guys, you can activate this during the damage step because it's in effect that change uh, the uh, the value, the attack value of a monster. Keep in mind that so if, you're, if your opponent attacks your normal reveal and you have this in your hand, boom, damage step, this card, 8k, let's go. If this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute one monster, add this card to your hand. So you can recycle this stuff and I think this synergizes with the classic reveal, right? If I'm not wrong because uh, the classic reveal kind of summons a couple of tokens uh, on your field, right? If your opponent normals, uh, uh, normal summons a monster, special summon a token. There you go. For each monster summons. So, but it cannot declare an attack, so it's pretty nice, actually, as you can see. Um, and... Uh, also, the the new one actually got rid of the uh, fiend type requirement. Keep in mind, reveal to be special summon required three fiend type monsters. Instead, with the new one, you actually just need three monsters, no matter where what they are, uh, the type they are. Then we have Abominations Prison Unchained has actually came to Duel Links now. Let me start by saying that I didn't uh, have uh, the luck. To, to face Unchained in Master Duel, I, I already abandoned the game when Unchained was released, so I don't know. Let's see what we have. Add one Unchained card from your deck to your hand. No requirement, no discarding, no cost, nothing. Already insane, because it says card, so with, uh, with this you can add another spell card, you can add another a trap card, you can add a monster, you can add anything. 
Uh, if the set card is destroyed by card effect, you can special summon one Unchained monster from your deck. So also as a bait, I guess, or you can use it with your own monster. So I guess this can perfectly trigger, uh, can be triggered by Switch the Flare, for example, popping your own card, so it makes sense. You can use each effect of Abomination's Prison once per turn. So that's super nice. So if you have two, you can use one to get the card you want and set the other one to maybe trigger the second effect. So that's pretty nice. Then we have Five Foot Patchwork. Uh, the one Edge Imp Monster and one Polymerization from your deck to your hand. Hard once per turn. Super nice. It's a plus one insane card. Limited tree. Makes sense. And well, let's see what this is gonna actually do to us. So I guess it's gonna be super nice, especially in decks that do not need to play Polymerization. I mean those decks that can use a skill that adds polymerization to their deck, so that is pretty insane. Now I don't remember if the skill actually gives us poly, but it could be. Then we have super rares, Unchained stuff, Unchained Twins, Rekia. Quick effect, it's a level 3, 1500, 1500. Quick effect, you can target one card you control, destroy it. Also, you can also spare some monster from the rest of the turn, except Fiend, okay. If this card is on the, um, on the field, is destroyed by card effect, um, except Unchained Twins, or by battle, uh, you can special summon one Unchained monster from your end or deck except Rikia. Nice. So, of course, this can actually pop the, the prison straight away. Then we have Aruha, of course, always Unchained Twins. You can get that one card you control. You can also special summon monster from the rest of this turn except Fiend Monsters. Also, destroy the targeted card, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. That's already insane. So, I guess it's a pretty, uh, a pretty easy rank 3 uh, toolbox because with, basically with this, you can actually special summon this guy. You pop this, special summon another level 3, so that's super nice. Then we have Unchained, um, Unchained Abomination. Link 4 though, at least 2 or more monsters, including a Link monster, makes sense. If a card on the field is destroyed by card effect, except Unchained Abomination, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Okay. When another monster is destroyed by battle, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. During the end phase, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Okay, so each effect once per turn, this is a triple destruction effect. In one card, 3k, link for cheese. Cheese, <laughs> that is gonna be, that's gonna be a nightmare, honestly. Cheese. Imagine, I mean, I already see this with Soj the Flare, I don't know, I, I can't stop seeing Soj the Flare every, everywhere. Oh my cheese. Then we have Seliger, the Luminous Lunar Dragon, level 6. This was, is it a reprint actually? Yeah, because this was in a, su a selection box super mini. You can normal summon set this card without tributing, but its original attack becomes 1500, but it stays level 6, very important in case of uh, um, uh, uh, XC summoning. During the main phase, you can target one monster your opponent controls with attack less uh, than or equal to this card, and turn this card into the hand, and if you do, take control of that opponent's monster until the end phase. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I remember it was nice, but of course not worth to invest in a selection box for this. Also, never saw play. And this is honestly insane. This is basically a part of greed. Like, um, this is definitely support for a Dark Magician. Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Banish one level 7 monster from your end or face up from your side of the field. Draw two cards. You can definitely do this with Dark Magician. Um, or also with Red Dice Dragon. I don't know, which other level 7 do we have? Then we have stuff to... I mean, this could be done even with Makina, potentially. Even you don't really want to banish the Makina cards. But uh, let me actually do something here. So if we go filter and we go... If we type uh, monster and then we also go for level... Level and we say level 7 can we of course uh, let's actually say um, effect uh, can we aim actually not main deck there you go he's searching so what we can use this with okay we have zombies definitely um, dark armored dragon kaijus mm-hmm Mm, this is interesting, even though, again, you don't really want to do that with Tan with Tani. Uh, Cybers, Chronicle Magician... Mm. Do we have Thunder Dragons level 7? Actually, no, we don't. Again, as I told you, Fortress... 
Buster Blader stuff. So in the in the new skill deck could be insane. Yeah, not really that much. I expect more actually to play around with, but yeah, definitely something good that you want to have probably double copies at least. Maybe some deck could even play three of this, honestly. Draw two. <laughs> it's, it's already insane like that. Then we have Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. Oh jeez, a Link monster for Buster Blader. Two monsters, genetic. If the card is Link summoned, you can send one Destruction Sword card from your deck to the graveyard. Then you can special summon one Buster Blader monster from your end. That's super important because you can summon either the normal Buster Blader or the other one, the, the, the Dragon Destroyer, the level 7 that is treated as Buster Blader when it's on the field, when it's on the field or in the graveyard. At the end of, the, of your battle phase, if your opponent controls no monsters, you can target one Buster Blader monster you control that did not declare an attack this turn, inflict damage to your opponent equal to all that monster's attack. If your opponent controls no monsters, that's super, super interesting actually, and this makes sense for the fusion. Why it makes sense for the fusion? I'm gonna tell you straight away, because the fusion can't attack directly. Let's see if I remember correctly. It's this guy, right? So... Cannot attack directly. So you have this guy uh, that also gains attack and you can inflict damage thanks to Buster Bob. This is insane. So basically the thing is, it's a regional attack or what? Half that monster's attack. So this means if your, <laughs> if your fusion has, has gone insanely high because there are a lot of dragons monsters on the field but in the graveyard, well... You're gonna finish the duel pretty quickly, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. 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 Um, opening the Spirit Gates. When this card is activated, continue spell card. So this is negatable with... <laughs> uh, can be negated with a Typhoon. Because it's a continuous spell. Have one Uria, Amon, or Raviel, or one monster that specifically lists any of those cards in his text from the deck to your hand. Perfect. Perfect starters. Once per turn, you can discard one card, special summon one fin monster with zero attack defense from your graveyard. Before it doesn't require you to target that, you can actually have nothing in the in the grave, I guess. No, you can't do that. You need to control you need to have a monster in the grave. Otherwise you can't activate the effect. But potentially if you have a zero attack monster in your graveyard, zero attack defense. You can discard the one you want to summon and special summon that straight away because it does not require you to target that uh, as a cast. Once per turn, if you control a level 10 monsters, you can add one continuous spell from your graveyard to your hand. I don't remember how many continuous spells we play for this, but I guess we have more. That's super nice, honestly. Super nice. Cheese. Cheese. Flawful, fry full support. Riru, that's for you. Uh, Fryful Cruel Whale, a one etching monster plus one Flawful monster. If this card is fusion summoned, you can destroy one card on both players' fields. Interesting. Uh, so this can be something that you can summon during your opponent's turn. So finally we have an interruption for Flawfuls. Once per turn, also there's something else. Once per turn quick effect, also it's a, it's a solid 2600. It's a solid 2600 actually. Not bad. Two monsters, just one edge imp and a fluffle monster pre genetic. Lovely. Um, you can target on fusion monster you control. Send one fight for card from your deck or extra deck to grave, except cruel whale. And if you do, the target monster gains attack equal to all of its original attack until the end of this turn. It's a booster, nothing crazy. The first effect is much better. Okay. Then we have Ange Imp Sight. During your opponent's man phase, it's level 3. You can reveal this card in your hand. Fusion summon one fight for fusion monster from your extra deck. Using monster from your end or field as fusion materials, including this card is your, in your hand. Dude, are we kidding? This is an Excel fusion card in your hand? Oh my jeez. I mean, without the delay, this is totally unpredictable. Oh my goodness. This is bro- I mean, not broken if we can only summon this guy, but jeez, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is this is a whole hundred level, guys. We're going through a whole other level to to a whole other level. Jeez, oh my, oh my. Let me type real quick. Fly for. Let's see uh, how much stuff good, how much good stuff we have. 
So we could summon also the Tiger, I guess. When this card is fusion summon, you can dunk cards on the field up to the number of fusion materials for its fusion summon destroy. So this could be also multiple destruction. Now the go first, do nothing, it's real. Uh, you can pop so many cards for this with the tiger. I guess there's nothing better other than that. I mean you can summon the tiger to pop, but can miss timing, I guess, so you can activate that you cannot activate that in response. Or you can summon the whale eventually. And, and chill. Super nice, dude. <laughs> dude, this is a three copies of. Burp, burp. Well, we can't even tell anything else about it. Three copies of. Jeez, <laughs> Edging Sight. If a fight for fusion monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard. This is a perfect card. Just the design of, of a perfect card. I mean, it would have been even broken if it would have said, when you banish this card, add it to your hand. I mean, it would be a full cycle. Oh, jeez. Each effect once per turn. Lovely. Lovely. And here it comes. I have to click on this because I want to see, uh, you know, in a big, in a bigger picture. Chaos Ancient Gear Gu Giant. Lovely. We were waiting for this. We predicted this from the dinosaur skill and here it is there you go it is our boy the giant four ancient gear monsters must be fusion summoned and can be special summoned by other ways unaffected by spell trap effects cheese if i love this your opponent's monsters cannot activate their refactoring the battle phase oh my this card can attack all the monsters your opponent controls once each. A super solid 4500 Taco my cheese. If this card attack at defense position monster inflict pressing damage. Oh my, oh my. I'm seeing I'm I don't know I don't know why the first thing I thought about was the lock with Bishop Balkan. You use Danny's skill, you treat Everything has ancient gear, you summon this guy, and then you go pressing damage through all of the tokens. <laughs> oh my jeez, oh my jeez, oh my jeez. This is, this is lovely. This is simply lovely, guys. I, I love it. I can't wait. I can't wait to play this. These, this is everything for the super rares, but we have more to actually go through. Uh, I already told you the reprints here. Uh, also, the frame was locked behind the Destructor deck, so... Also, the Reborn was locked behind the Destructor deck. All reprints, super nice, actually. Actually, this was not a little bit locked. Right, uh, yeah. Um, let's see what we have. We have uh, Toy Parade, Fight for Card, Tag 1 Dark Monster you control, Person from the extra deck. For the rest of this turn, you can only declare attack with that monster. Also, each time that monster destroys a monster, you can attack again in a row. Oh, jeez. If you control a fairy monster, except the turn this card was sent to grave, you can manage with this card from your graveyard, add one level 4 or, dark or lower dark monster from your graveyard to your hand. Toy Parade, super nice. Unchained, uh, more Unchained, level 8. Um, 0 3k. You can use each of the following effects once per turn. You can never face a monster your controls immediately after this effect is resolved. Link summon one dark link monster using only this card you control and that mo opponent's monster as material. This is a super poly for Link. Cheese, are you kidding me? Oh my cheese. If this card on the field is destroyed by a battle card effect, you can target an unchained monster in your graveyard. Except disaster, special summon it. Oh my jeez, that's broken. Unchain Soul of Rage, another link. This this guy is the link to though. In your opponent's man phase, you can target a face up special summon monster your opponent controls. Link summon one dark link monster, except unchained by using only the opponent's monster and this card you control as material. So unchained are all about link summoning with your opponent's monsters. I didn't know that. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle card effect, you can tag one fiend monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. <laughs> oh my, this is... Oh my god. Dual links is gonna be a nightmare. I mean, cagging this man is gonna be a nightmare. Oh my jeez. If I wanna... If, if I want to stick to non-meta decks, it's gonna be so tough. Oh my jeez. Unchained Twin Sarama. Okay. Same stuff, basically. Unchained Soul, Link 3, so we have Link 2, Link 3, Link 4, so you can basically... Going on from this, I guess this can do the same. Face up most of your opponent controls. 
think someone on Darkling Monster. <laughs> oh my, so this means that you just use this two, for example, you summon this guy, and then your opponent summons a monster, boom, link a fact of rage to go into Ungish. Then your opponent summons another another monster, Ungish effect, boom, you go into the boy, into the big boy. Oh my god. It's gonna be scary, guys. Let's see how, how strong they will be in dual links. I do not expect... I expect another uh, level shift in the meta, honestly, right now. Fryfur Kraken. One edge imposter, one fluffle. Once per turn, you can target one monster opponent controls. Send it to the grave. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It, it's it, it's targeting, though. This card cannot attack directly during the effects activated. Okay, directly. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. That's lovely. Even though 2200... Mm, once per turn at the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you can change this card to defense position. Lovely! Lovely Kraken! I love you! 3k defense! Very nice! Fluffle Penguin! How good is this boy? How good it is! Fluffle Penguin! During your main phase, you can special summon on Fluffle Monster from your hand except Fluffle Penguin. Super nice! This effect will only use once, one, one, once, once while this guy is on the is face up on the field. If this guy is on, is sent to grave as a fusion material for a fusion summon. He does not need to be on the field. You can draw two cards and discard one card. This is the liquid. This is the liquid soldier of uh, of, of fluffles. Lovely, lovely fluffle penguin. Uh, unchained. So the the trap card. Destroy both. Okay, same effect. Dangerous Pfeiffer Knight Mary. One Edge Imp, two Fluffle, 2k, 3k. Gain 300 for each Fiend and Fiend monster in your graveyard during your turn only. When this Fusion Summon card destroys the monster spray battle, you can send by Pfeiffer, Fluffle, and or each Edge Imp monster from your deck to the graveyard equal to the original level of that destroyed monster. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. When your opponent activates a card or effect, Targets this card in the field, you can banish one frightful monster from your extra deck and negate that effect. A card of effect that targets. Oh my. Oh my. Banish from the extra deck. That's. That's cool. That's cool. That's a negation. Interesting. More Unchained, I guess. Cerulean Skyfire. Oh, this is for the. Uh, the weaker gods. The special summon Ammon using its own procedure, you can also use phase down spells you control. Okay. Once per turn, while you control an attack position, Ammon, you can negate any spell trap effect activated by your opponent, then change one Ammon Lord of Second Time that you control the defense position. Okay. Jeez. If a face up Uriar, Amon, or Raviol, you control leaves the field, you take no damage this turn. Jeez. More unchained. If a card you control, you can special card from your hand. Oh my jeez. Hate Buster. What the heck is that? Not server print. All in Paradise. This was locked behind a skill, guys. Another lovely. This is to draw, right? You can draw two cards. If you control Uria, Amon, or Reveal, or Emma Tile, the fusion guy, you can draw two cards. Also, it makes your gods untargetable. You cannot be destroyed by card untargetable and undestructible by card effect. Oh my jeez. So you can play four of this. Fallen Paradise plus the Terraforming, and then the reprints. Is there some interesting stuff in here? Otis. Smaller, Unchained, Pixie Ring, Fluffle Dolphin, <laughs> how cute are these cards, Fry for stuff, oh a Counter Trap, let's see if this Counter Trap real quick, Ooh. This can also, that card can return the Fluffle, ba uh, the Fry for Banished to the Grave, Fry for match when an opponent's spell trap or monster effect is activated, attack the fry for monster you control negate activation. If you do destroy that card, then you can send one of the, the targeted fry for monster to the grave. And if you do special summon on level 8 or higher fight for fusion monster from your extra deck, treat it as fusion summon. During your next end phase, banish the monster special summon by this effect. You can, so it's actually optional. 
To special summon on level 8, that means you can actually special summon another boy that can give you another effect. I guess you can... No, eight, okay, it cannot be that. Cannot be that. Definitely not. Interesting, though. The jar, this is super nice to recycle the banished monster. This is recycled stuff as well. A clock and dagger. New. Camp shell. Oh, this is limited one. Oh, cancer stole deck for that. Try for repair. Real. This guy's right. Waffle is a real deck now. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks to this, guys. Um, honestly, last thoughts on this. It's already too too long. Last thoughts on this. I I want this definitely. Uh, maybe one copy could be enough. Probably two is is better. Um, I could. I, I'm not a fan of Unchained just because I'm not a fan of Links. Starting first, I do not have all of the previous uh, review stuff. Plus, I do not like these gods. I prefer the classic ones, the Egyptians one. So I'm not going, I'm definitely not going for all of these stuff, to be honest, not even the Pfeiffer stuff, but because I understand this could be a three copies of, probably. Um, but I want maybe two copies of this, definitely. This is a three copies of, so if I happen to get it nice, but otherwise I'm, I'm not going to be sad. Uh, I want one copies of this, definitely. And I probably think I want three copies of the Secret Sword of Seven Stars. I think I want three copies of this, honestly. That's the prob. That's my problem. That I want three copies of this. <laughs> that's my real problem. Cheese. These can be. These can be played in so many fusion mon fusion decks. I probably should go. Should go for uh, for Edge and Fluffles just because I think I have all of the previous support actually. We'll see, we'll see. I have the gems. Also, it's a mini, so I could change my mind and go for this and just try to get all of the fluffed fluff stuff. Because we need three copies of the NGP site. That's the sure thing. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, that's it. This is Destroyer of the Fantas Mini Box. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Of course, if you have um, if you arrived till this point, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Really appreciate and love all of you, my boys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below again. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.